It's not a habit. But I guess that on occasion, I may oversalt my corn on the cob. I don't really think I intend to do it. It just kind of happens. There's a certain amount of salt, which honestly isn't that much, that really makes corn on the cob taste good. If in reality I do oversalt my corn, it is an unconscious habit. I also don't think I ingest that much salt otherwise. But then again, what do I know? There's usually a ton of salt in almost everything. My little habit, until recently, had never been picked on. No one ever cared until one of my uncle's lady friends called attention to it from across the dining table. Oh my god! She exclaimed rather obnoxiously. Did you see how much salt he put on that corn? I froze for a minute and mentally confirmed that the air horn that had just been sounded was on account of my actions while all eyes at the dining table shifted to me. After a short awkward silence, I decided to defend myself. But the seed was already planted, and a new dinner conversation had begun raging from the crack-like properties of salt on taste buds to, among other things, congestive heart failure. Personally, I was grateful when dinner was over, but later I was again bombarded with salty comments. This time, I was cooking some Raymond noodles. You know you shouldn't eat those, there's a ton of salt in them. She said smartly and walked away. I also let that moment slide, but there were only two of a grand total of five salt-related comments that I had received like sucker punches while in her presence. After the fifth, I decided that I would retaliate the next time she made a comment like that. For hours, I ran over in my mind what I should do. The first scenario involved an over-acceptance of the situation. I would save my uncle's lady friend the trouble of sounding her own bullhorn by loudly announcing I was going to salt my corn. Of course, I would proceed to salt my corn and then brusquely set the salt shaker down on the table and sneer deep into her soul to convey the message. The second scenario was, to me, even more proactive. This time, I would not even announce that I was going to salt my corn but set an entire can of iodinized salt next to my placemat, and again, sneer into her soul. Maybe, I thought, I would get her to talk about salt, and I would continue to coax her by burying my entire corn cob into a mountain of sodium chloride. The third and final scenario would be reactive. I would wait for her to make her customary exclamation, and follow it up by another along the lines of, now that everyone knows one of my bad habits, why don't you do something so I can loudly call you out on it and continue a conversation about it? And similarly sneer into her soul, with a mocking smile as a conversation formed. Let it be clear, I am not one for retaliation, but instances such as the ones mentioned have been so insulting that I feel compelled to take action and have, in advance, warned the proper authorities that there will be no stopping me. That time, however, has not come, and in some way I am glad. I do try to find the best in people, but sometimes they really do have a rotten spot. Maybe I could cure it with some salt. <laughs>